What we're doing today is working on truck company operations and it's vertical ventilation. Roll one member and then stop when you hit another one. The key point of vertical ventilation is getting up and cutting a large size area above the roof to ventilate the hot superheated gas and smoke from the interior crews to stop the decomposition of wood from the extreme heat and also to prevent the flashover that could occur when the superheated gases and smoke are encapsulated and meet oxygen and produce what's called a flashover. We're taking that heat and smoke and we're letting it out. We're essentially taking the lid off of uh, the fire. Our job is, is very time sensitive. It's highly technical. Uh, and when people call us when their house is on fire, we need to know what we're doing and we need to be able to do it quickly and proficiently. We could teach the guys in a classroom environment what the, is expected of them, but until you come out here and put the air pack on and run the saw, put turnouts on, uh, and then we add the element of smoke, uh, we really don't know if a guy can, can perform or not. So putting them in this environment is really valuable to see how they react, see if they can actually do the technical skills that we need them to do when they're on the job. There's just no experience like actual hands-on experience. When you're in the classroom, you can learn about it and hear about things, and you can sit and study things as much as you want, but until you actually have your hands on it and are actually performing those tasks, uh, that's the real trainer, and to see if you, if you really know what you're doing. It's priceless. I mean, we're, we're out here trying to get a lot of reps, um, trying to get guys through on the saw, cutting holes, basically as many as we can, just to gain more experience um, in a more of a real life aspect of that. What you'll see is the company officer will typically be out front. He'll be using his long handle tool, pulling tool, that's what we call it, usually a trash hook, and he'll be sounding his way out. So he'll be pounding on the roof, uh, trying to, to determine what the structure is of the roof, indications of where the roof is getting weak. Based on a number of factors uh, in his size up, that will determine for him where he wants to put the hole. He'll indicate to his firefighter, this is where I want the hole that firefighter will take the chainsaw or circular saw and it'll cut, uh, in essence, just a square hole. And depending on the size of the fire and how much smoke and heat is inside the fire, that will determine how big of a hole he cuts. The skills that we're really trying to embed in these guys is one, to op how to operate and handle a saw. The proper saw handling comes with being able to switch hands, maneuver in the proper footwork, not stepping in the hole that you just cut, being able to cut with with both hands efficiently and effectively, identifying and anticipating where your, ne your next cut needs to be. But also, just as important, is being able to feel what's under the, under the deck. The deck is what we refer to as the roofing material. Ventilation is a, a very key tactic and strategy when we fight a fire. It's really critical that we can verify that these guys can do the task level process of taking a saw cutting through the roof and letting all that heat and smoke out. The vent over fire prop, what it's designed to do is just uh, add another dimension to what we've already trained our firefighters to do. It adds a dimension of adding real life stress to a already stressful situation, getting up on a burning roof where you have fire under you. It's really important to expose the firefighters to as many real life scenarios as possible in a controlled environment so that when they are faced with that in a real life situation, they're gonna have all the tools and information necessary to make the right decisions and perform at the highest level. And this is just an entry step. Uh, it's a lot of work, it's, it's difficult work, and, uh, but it's a lot of fun at the same time and, uh, and I'm looking really looking forward to a, a long rewarding career uh, resulting from this training.